All right, boys, what's good? So in today's video, I'm basically just going to be showing you what's possible if you can manage to completely remove your emotions from trading. It's going to be similar to my backtesting videos, except I actually have the results in preparation. I'm going to be using the perfectly backtested results from Ardy's Discord to make it easier for us. So shout out to him. I'll definitely recommend you joining the Discord in the description. He's got a lot of value in there and it's where I learned the strategy. So just going to shout him out. But yeah, I'm going to be doing this video on a new pair that we've added recently. If you haven't noticed, we've been adding and removing quite a few pairs because we've noticed that some pairs just work way more effectively with the strategy so we're really just trying to perfect everything make it so trading is as easy as possible as effective as possible and we can improve that win rate improve the risk reward and yeah and from testing this pair gr30 i don't know how i'd pronounce that but it is very effective like i said the full back tested results are in as well as having done some forward testing for a while this setup hit literally yesterday unfortunately i wasn't up for it it was at 2am but this was an absolutely gorgeous trade and like i said if we go into the back tested results right here it is insane it's just absolutely ridiculous of course i can't just show it all in this video because that'd be taken away from rd but once again it is in the discord in the description but i will be going through a few things today but as the title suggests the main plot of this video is basically showing you the potential of how insane trading can be if you've managed to fully remove your emotions and what i would start off with is just don't take low quality positions but this isn't a really good example for that because if you look at this line of trades there are literally no other setups that weren't taken these are all pretty high quality setups which is why we've added this as a pair because it's just ridiculous and a lot of you may be questioning trend on this such as why would we take a sell here and a buy here but that's all to do with key areas um, i'm not going to really get into that this video but let me just show you some of these back tested results close up this is a perfect example of just having no emotions when trading of course because this is back testing it's so easy to stick to a plan so all these back tests are what would have happened if we traded with zero emotions and of course as you've seen the results are just ridiculous so right here we have a setup i'd consider this to be an almost perfect setup to be honest these are the trades that we just love to see nice levels of liquidity breaking highs breaking highs breaking highs even to the left breaking this one over here and then we just wait for it to tap into the zone take the close of the candle or even the flip on something like this and you just wait it out and once again no emotions involved you're holding through all of this and it will pay off like the majority of the time of course it's really difficult for a person to hold through all of this be in what maybe four percent profit and then see it plummet all the way down multiple times just before break even a lot of people will not hold through that and i'm not saying i'm perfect with this either even though i think my psychology is pretty good now this of course still stresses me out a little bit like i was just talking about a really important one is just sticking to your entry models i've taken too many losses in the past because i'm just taking entry on like a really hard rejection or an unnecessary flip that didn't really make sense and it's just unnecessary and if you could just remove all your emotions and just stick to the plan every time just bro it is ridiculous i'm assuming most of you here trade liquidity supply and demand so i don't really feel the need to explain too much but this relates to everything i'm sure all of you if not most of you have really good results in back testing yet not even that many of you are profitable and that is just fully because of emotions you may think that you just don't know enough about the strategy but if you have the good results in back testing that means it is just fully psychology related and if you can really manage to remove those emotions then you will just be good in trading to be honest once again right here just waiting for the bullish close we don't want to get scared when it comes down like this or even here when it just comes down a little bit towards break even you don't want to be getting out because you have no reason for it obviously this right here would consider somewhat of an aggressive trade uh, we only had one candle liquidity however of course this acts as a demand zone and we had a reaction from the area so a lot of people would be getting in here so this does count as like a decent level of liquidity but if you just wait for your entry stop loss one pit below that's what i do at least set the tp before the trade is even running of course you can adjust it during the trade but don't make it like a psychological thing what the fuck did i just say don't make it a psychological thing it's more just like if it's come out with a lot of momentum you may want to move tp2 higher or just add a tp2 because a lot of the time you might just only have tp1 and you'll be able to hold through these the overwhelming majority of traders like probably 99.9% .9 of people would not be able to hold this to a 1 to 10 like of course this is targeting like around these highs over here we've gone very bullish from an area down here and we have since just seen demands hit over and over again so you can take that for that 1 to 10 but if you're going to get scared and get out the trade before that then you're just missing out on so many profits this is basically how i used to trade i used to only take one-to-ones uh partially because of my old mentor this isn't me throwing shade on him but one-to-ones like you'd be getting out what right here bro you're getting out of, like this is your profit that means you could literally lose the next trade and just have lost all the profits you made but if you have a strong enough psychology to be able to hold through these this is 10 losses you can now go through and to be honest with this strategy you should not have 10 losses in a row that is for sure even if you did like go on a mad losing streak let's say you did lose 
10 trades. Somewhere in between that, you probably hit like, what, a one to five, one to six, and you would still be in 6% profit after all of that because this one trade covered everything because your psychology is good enough to let you just take it all the way up. If you can remove your emotions completely from trading, then you'll just trade like you backtest. And I know so many of you are profitable in backtesting. And it makes sense because it's easy. Becoming profitable in backtesting is easy. It's sticking to the plan that is the difficult part. That's why 99% of traders fail, or 98, or 95. I don't know what the statistic is, but most traders, are, like they just don't make it. Once again, another one to 10. This is more of a showcase of GER30, GER30, don't know what to call it. <laughs> but this pair is just ridiculous. I was gonna do a backtesting video on it, but I already looked at the backtest results in the Discord to see the results. So it would've been kind of cheating and it would've been really like unauthentic. There's also like a spreadsheet in there for all the results. So you can see how many trades you'd be taking per week, how much profit you're making on each trade, how many, how much percent you're making overall. Um, yeah, I can't really show this. Give you a sneak peek at one of them. This one up here was the most insane month by far. 25% in a month on one pair. That is ridiculous. But back to it, right here, you can do your analysis and the back tests, go into a higher time frame even. You can see we're starting to move bearish. We're breaking all the structure on the left. We're not reacting from any demand zones. And we make this beautiful supply after breaking this low to the left. Of course, you have to be aware and honest whilst back testing and tell yourself, would this have been a flip entry in reality? For us, this definitely would have been because this is a very like wide stop loss. But there's no point lying to yourself. And then right here, this is another beautiful trade. Of course, this looks like we're just taking trades for the sake of it, uh, to just take a demand right at the bottom of this. But firstly, I can guarantee there's something on the left here, such as the reaction to this low over here. Unfortunately, I can't go into the higher time frames here, but it was probably a key area as well. You've got to be honest with yourself in these trades. Like right here, this looks like it's valid for a flip entry because both candles came into the zone. But just to give it the benefit of the doubt that it's not that powerful, the entry has been put on the close of the candle just in case it was too early in the formation and maybe we wouldn't have gotten on the flip you don't want to just give unrealistic results and now i'm not saying this is how we trade constantly of course you still have to make decisions in the moment uh, unfortunately we're not making 25 percent a month off of one pair would be great um but a lot of the time we miss trades and of course we still do take losses this isn't even a back test of just the wins by the way this is just like a really good period but yeah there will be losses but um it just happens to be that the last like eight trades just seven of them won which is ridiculous with the risk reward we have by the way you can go test this period out and just like see if there were any trades that you're questioning on like oh why wouldn't you have taken that a i don't think there'll be many and b if there is any guarantee you we can answer why yeah i've kind of ended up rambling this video haven't i i won't lie i'm literally just hyped to get trades on this pair uh, as well as like uk 100 and everything you seem to be in a pretty good season for trading right now with the strategy but yeah i just want to show you guys that like results like these of course seem ridiculous they seem impossible and they are very tough to get don't get it fucked up i'm not getting like these results right now okay if i was then i would have made like like 30% in August. I didn't make 30% in August. I mean, I wasn't trading this pair in August, but you get what I mean. This is what's possible if you fully remove your emotions from trading. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting there and I will get there because I'm trying to see these results right here and I'm already seeing good results. But yeah, um, there's GER30 for you. Still don't know how to pronounce it. And there's some uh, motivation for you to where you can get out with the strategy or just with any strategy if you can actually just lock in remove that psychology get rid of them emotions and just trade like a robot i'm sure there's a bunch of you that know the strategy so well and you just don't even know it but yeah anyway i recently opened up one-to-ones they're in the description discord's in the description follow the instagram like comment subscribe if you want i don't know what it does but yeah peace man